Hello. In this uh, video, I'm gonna check the uh, S meter functionality on the 857. There's a jack on the bottom side of the front cover, uh, pretty much uh, standard 3.5, like the uh, one on the uh, side for the uh, phones or a speaker. And you connect uh, an external uh, analog meter. Now I have connected uh, a DC voltmeter to measure the DC voltage coming out of it. And you, when you enter a menu 60 and 61, you can set the meter analog for RX, select what you want it to display. So you can choose between off, full scale, just to see what's the voltage at full scale. And we can, we can have a look at it. 4.97 volts DC. This uh, analog meter is not very calibrated. Probably some components are out of spec. I'll have to, this is an old meter I have. And on a 10 scale, we read 4.3 4.3 so it reads a bit, a bit low then you have uh, an A for nothing uh, you can display the voltage continuously when you are on RX you can display the uh, center frequency on an FM signal and you can display the signal itself so let's put an S8 out of the generator, 30 dB, roughly, just to have an idea. And uh, turn on the generator. Uh, we should have about, we're still reading S, S9 here actually. Let's go, let's go to S8. Okay, this is S8, according to this meter, okay, which is not uh, necessarily <laughs> necessarily calibrated. So for Yezu, S9 is 36 dB. Now I'm on 25 dB, so uh, 11 dB lower. Let's see what we get as a voltage. We said about, we want to have about 2.5-ish. Uh, we have 2.7. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty linear. Let's go on S5. S5, we should read about one quarter, or um, one quarter of five volts. It's about uh, 1.25 ish. 1.75, a bit higher than that. This is just a rough check, it's not nothing uh, precise. Uh, yesterday I was checking for the SWR because when you transmit, you don't know, um, you don't know what the SWR is. You see a meter going up, but you don't know if it's 1.5, 2, 2 to 1, or uh, 3, or whatever. So if you look at the scale here, you see that for a 2 SWR corresponds to a displacement of the needle up to about S4 and 3 is up to about S6 and a half between 6 and 7 so between 6 and 7 is something like this this is 7 this is 6 so I would say that when you get this second step to the right of the column it's about three swr of three and when you are about s4 which is first step it's swr of two so this is nice to know when you are uh, on the car using the radio and you want to know how is it's swr because you don't have the number like uh, for the signal strength now if you go on menu 61 you can see you can set it for TX 
and um, I set it on modulation here now, but uh, you can set power, ALC, modulation, SWR, or voltage, or nothing or off. If we put it on modulation, for example, we can then have a look. Okay, um, now uh, checking with uh, microphone and the uh, digital meter, which, uh, by the way, has got an analog scale on the bottom side of it. So if I transmit now into a dummy load, I think I, I have about 50 watts, but nevertheless, uh, we're looking at modulation level here. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can see that um, it's showing it's a uh, needle movement. And you, you see that, um, 100% modulation corresponds to about uh, yeah, probably 3 volts, something like that, considering the full scale deflection is 5. So let's have a whistle here. There you go, 3.14. On, on the receive side, when I uh, select the AGC on slow, the uh, voltage response is uh, accordingly slower. So that means that uh, we, when we change fast or slow, the AGC will, uh, uh, the, me the analog meter will be uh, normally driven um, by the AGC. So uh, on slow, the, the movement will be smoothened out a lot. Yeah, here we go. I have connected both, uh, basically, the analog and the digital. And this is a modulation, allo, test, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. We are on a three volt scale. And as you can see, you can check, uh, modifying uh, the, uh, the way you talk and uh, the way you put the microphone in front of the, of the mouth, the SSB uh, mic gain, uh, as well as the uh, processor. You can have a look at the response here. Allo, allo, test, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if we uh, take a look at um, power, we are on 50 watts now, so I'm expecting pretty much the same response. Test, test, one, two, one, two, three, one. Okay, a little bit less because probably uh, this is a, uh, an average response, not a peak response. But uh, anyway, I think I'm on 50 watts, I'm not even sure. And uh, if we go on uh, ALC, uh, load test one two three one two three one two three you can see how the uh, harmonic level uh, voltage control is uh, responding swr we shouldn't have any movement as uh, we are on a dummy load from the uh, marconi let's have a look just in case hello test hello test 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 i'm on transmit as you can see test 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 and no movements very good so I'm planning to buy one of these. Uh, I'm not sure yet if black or white. Uh, uh, we'll put it on the car. Uh, it, it's nice on the car. Uh, easily readable. I'll put it in the dashboard. And I think it will fit well. I'm still waiting for uh, the uh, final transistor for repairing the other, the other 857, which is in here. Oh, the uh, PA unit is in on underneath. This is the main unit, which uh, is still not uh, not ready. Still need to uh, finish this area here with this integrated circuit. But uh, almost there. This radio now basically is using is a mix of the two and uh, is is working okay in the car. I have good reports, uh, good reports on modulation. The uh, the unit has been calibrated by myself uh, for uh, just did a quick calibration because uh, you know I mixed the main unit with the uh, PA unit so um, I run through all the um, hardware and then software calibrations and, um, and now it's working well so far I also uh, bought uh, a new set of screws as you can see because the old ones were terrible 
I'll see what I can do to make this uh, cover appear a, a, a little bit better. But uh, also in the car, I have uh, solved some issues uh, of RF on 40 and 30. I just added a bit of chokes. Uh, but yeah, looking good so far. Uh, fingers crossed that uh, the new transistor are coming are okay. I bought uh, the Toshiba uh, 2SC 2782A and uh, yeah when they arrive uh, i'll make another video and uh, we check uh, if they're okay and if they're okay i'll put them uh, in the radio and finally hopefully i have uh, 2857 working um, another thing the last thing i want to mention is on this panel unit which is the one that had the uh, big issues, not big, but the, the one that had issues on the, um, with the screw, with the glue and with the switch. Okay. This one, when I connect, when I connect a speaker or a phones here, I don't have sound. So after a thorough inspection, I found out that the uh, flat cable the flat cable inside was uh, somewhat uh, pinched, but um, it was not that causing the issue really. It was um, really an issue uh, with the cable anyway, but close to where you connect it to the board. Uh, so it suffered uh, mechanical stress and uh, it was bent and uh, one of the pin was having a an intermittent contact and um, causing causing the issue so finally I see that moving it uh, the audio was coming back so basically I thought okay uh, I'll replace the flat cable but um, it's not expensive it's doable <laughs> but um, I managed to uh, to fix the issue just uh, cutting out cutting out the last part of the flat cable and then uh, um, scraping the plastic a little bit uh, to have new um, new exposed contacts and let me show you inside just quickly okay without disconnecting the cable again basically um, the issue was here the issue was uh, was here the cable was bent and it was having an intermittent contact now I uh, removed the cable, I cut out of a piece of it, yeah, about one centimeter, and uh, and I just uh, ob obviously with the microscope, I just uh, scraped off the plastic, the white plastic, to expose the contacts of the uh, of uh, each one of the eight. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit of a pain, a bit of a delicate job, but uh, this is just eight, uh, eight pins, so it doesn't take too long. Then I uh, put again, obviously, the, uh, the plastic thing that supports the flat cable. I used also a double glue tape. You can see it here, uh, even though it doesn't really stay, but you know, when it's, when it's in, when it's in, it just gives the, the support needed. Like this one, pretty much like this one, you know. And yeah, the issue is uh, finally solved. So now this, uh, this is the new switch. So now this uh, front panel is finally working uh, fine. And you can have a demonstration here, um, generating a signal. Signal is coming out of the speaker, but uh, if I connect now this external speaker, if I can on one hand, there you go. You can hear the sound out of it. And uh, that's uh, all for this video. Thank you for watching.